What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Priority Hall and Junk Remove, back at it again with another video. I was uh, on my way to the landfill, and uh, what I noticed is that my dump trailer, the actual trailer lights, they were flickering. Maybe the wire harness somehow loose, maybe a fuse, or maybe possibly we have a bad ground somewhere. This video, we're basically going to go over some uh, quick steps that I've taken to troubleshoot this issue. So stay tuned and enjoy this video. So right now, that yellow light is on. But as soon as I come to a complete stop, it's going as you can see, it's flickering. You might be able to see it. But I can't really get it on the video, but the light's off. Give some gas. Now it's back on. Comes to a stop, it goes off. I check all my fuses, all my fuses okay. And my relays okay. All right, so the lights are on, but as you can see, we're not getting no, no lights, nothing. Now, when I turn on the turn signal, you'll see that She'll start smoking. So, turn signal is on. And that's on. And this is smoking. You can't really see it, but it's smoking. Something's wrong. Something is wrong with that thing. Again, not working. Man, she's barely got light. Brand new trail. See if I could pop the cover off real quick and see any physical signs like the wire is rubbing against some pole or something of that nature. But that's exactly what I'm about to do. Just do a quick safety check. Just unplug this bad boy here. Probably something. We'll figure it out. Get a fix. Get a fix. That's what we'll do. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. She's very sweet. Hey, how are you? Beautiful. She wants to meet everybody. So this is the light that I was referring to. So if I pop this, you can you might be able to see it, but it's definitely still smoking. She's definitely still smoking. Again, yeah, you might be able to see it, but I could definitely see it. Oh, yeah, she's really smoking. The smoke is coming from is it coming from here all right that's the that's gonna be another problem if it's coming from here then that means we got a wire that might be smoke from here but it's definitely from up there if it's this thing that's causing the problem then that's cool we can easily get this thing swapped out let me go try to turn it on and see what happens interesting all right emergency on the lights are now officially working huh that's crazy. So what the heck is, what's the problem? Hmm, all right. Thing right here was smoking, but now I'm not getting any smoke. Um. Not get anything from underneath here. 
So is it, is it overheating? I don't know guys, cause it was, it was smoking a couple of minutes ago and now it's not smoking. Now we got lights. Just as a note, it's not warm to touch. There's no corrosion. Nor none inside of there. Already like multiple times I've disconnected this, make sure the terminals were clean. Still, that wasn't a problem. Um, I've also checked all my fuse, my relays. That wasn't a problem, but the actual, let's see, the tow tail relay, which is this relay right here. This relay is, was extremely hot, like super duper hot. So I moved it over, switched it around. I, I tried the lights again and it wasn't working. So I am confused because none of the fuses blown. Just in case you guys may have issues. You got two fuses, okay? So your first fuse is going to be right here, towing, right? And then you have another fuse that's across from that. That's another 30, tow tail, okay? So you got tow tail, towing, and then you have your two uh, relays. First relay is tow backup, okay? And then you got another relay, which is tow tail. Again, the tow tail relay is here, okay? That's tow tail and that's tow backup. I swapped the tow tail and tow backup. So this was here, all right? I swapped it around because it was extremely hot. Check the fuses, the two dirty fuse. So you got one fuse here and then the other fuse is right here. So that's your other tow and light fuse. So one fuse here, one fuse here. Both of those fuses are fine. All of the fuses are blown. Uh, one of the relays was extremely hot, so I, I swapped it out, but still, that did not solve my issue. Hmm. Let's see, I looked under, underneath here to check like my grounds and all. There's still nothing. I'm feeling with my hand. I don't feel any heat. And this thing seems to be okay right now. It's not smoking. Let me go ahead and put the camera down and um, I'm going I'm to put this bad boy back inside here. I really do want to inspect these wires before I do. So let me turn everything off, inspect the wires and take it from there. Pop the LED light cover off. This is the wire harness for it. Uh, I believe the issue, it may just be a result of due to the fact that I washed this trailer i sprayed it down last night it was it was dark uh it's quite possible that water could have seeped in inside and got to the prongs and uh, basically you know created a uh, shortage which caused intermittent issues with the lights and also could be the reason why it was smoking on that side so i'm gonna plug it back up run it see if it maintains its light functionality and uh you know check back tomorrow but thus far, I don't see any uh, physical damage here, nor with the lights. I found the issue. The issue is this light wiring harness, not the light, but the light wiring harness. Something is loose inside. Uh, as soon as I'm trying to reinstall this, I can hear wires just rubbing. Like it sounds like it's, it's, it's creating a spark. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but somehow between here, there's a uh, there's a cut wire, um, or there's I don't know how this is actually connected. Maybe it's a connector here, or maybe it's a complete complete wire. Um, but uh, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely screwed up. So got to take it to the dealership and have them uh, take a look. All right, guys, we found the issue. As you can see. We got some uh, wires that are bare naked. So I don't know why the factory did that, but uh, yeah, so these wires are actually grounded inside the frame, causing our issue. So I'm about to get them back on the road. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. It's warm, it's 
definitely warm, but fill her up with some gas and uh, get out to uh, my customer. I'll tell you one thing, God is good. That's all I gotta say, I'm gonna just leave it at that. God is good. That is a wrap. We were able to get our issue resolved just by uh, doing some visual inspections. You know, we visually inspected the truck and we visually inspected the trailer and we determined that the issue was at the trailer end, which resulted in a bad ground. Now seeing the smoke from the rear trailer, like that definitely played a huge role when it came to troubleshooting. If I didn't see smoke, I would have been expecting ground after ground after ground after ground, wire after wire, wire after wire. But you know, that's just part of the process to diagnose if your trailer lights have a bad ground. You have to visually inspect stuff. We are back in business. Trailer lights are fully functional. As I may have mentioned during the video, what kind of caused the issue was that with the dump trailer that I have, there are actual, uh, I want to say either the utility trailers or uh, it's either the utility trailers or I think, I think they call it cargo trailers, enclosed cargo trailers. Those trailers, they have an actual side marker on them. Uh, it's like usually at the top right and left side. Those are side markers. So dump trailers, they're pre-made with the same wire, which that wire, uh, you know, let's just say from the factory, uh, somebody terminated the wire, but they didn't actually cap it off. So that way it wouldn't cause a bad ground. Please keep in mind that many businesses are still being affected by COVID. So you're going to see these mishaps. But see, my belief is as a business owner, it is my responsibility to ensure that my equipment is being maintained properly. At the end of the day, it's my equipment, my responsibility to maintain that equipment. So what I usually do is before I actually go out to do a job, I always, I always do my pre-inspections on my truck and my trailer. I always ensure that my truck tires are inflated, make sure that I don't see any visible damages to the tire, do my pre-inspection of my lights for the truck and trailer. Also, when it comes to the truck and the trailer, I do a visual inspection of any fluids, any fluids leakage. Those are just the steps that I perform before I do a job. That is it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and hopefully you are subscribed to my channel because if you're not, well, you're gonna miss out on the next video. <laughs> Without further ado, take it easy. Holla at y'all later. Peace.